to the adjacent seawater. And one of the things that changes as we go up the seamount in terms of the water is its oxygen concentration. And um, the iron manganese crust precipitation, these parts of it are Project. sensitive to the oxygen concentration. We're also collecting those samples to try and get at the rocks that are within uh, or underneath the crust in order to the iron manganese crust in order to look at the chemistry of the lava and its similarity or differences to other magmatic yeah. provinces around here as well as to do some age dating uh, using radiometric methods and then also to look for the distribution and diversity and density of uh, benthic organisms at different depths uh, along the seamount and and across the different morphologies where you know it's along walls or ridges or in valleys and then hopefully we um, you know see some stuff that people haven't seen before whether it's new species or in different environments or depth ranges and uh, then provide all that data to the research community and the public um, and to the scientists on board to conduct further research right. and to have to fun doing it. Yeah, I got to see some of the rocks we brought up today and that manganese crust is really impressive. What's the depth age rating you mentioned? Yeah, it grows at about uh, a millimeter per million years. That's awesome. So when we see stuff that's a few centimeters thick, that can be a long period of, of uh, this crest deposition. Sarah, since you've handled a lot of the specimens, uh, one of our viewers is asking, what makes the life turn to goo when brought to the surface? Do you think it's more the pressure or the temperature? I think it's largely the temperature. Um, but some specimens are certainly more fragile than others, which we found out yesterday <laughs> firsthand. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's largely the temperature that degrades them. Sarah's a trooper. She had slime dripping from her hat this afternoon. I did <laughs> stand under a it slime was fountain. Pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's devotion and dedication. <laughs> There's a rock chemistry question take that um, why doesn't the iron and the water just oxidize into rust right away yeah so the form of iron that's getting precipitated is iron oxyhydroxide so FeOOH uh, and it is uh, metastable in the water but um, a slight I can't remember if it's a negative or a positive charge but it's it has been oxidized um, but not to you know fe3 plus it's a, it's a more stable form with the oxyhydroxide What's the cutoff for considering it a anoxic conditions as far as in terms ocean? of oxygen concentration? Yeah. I don't know. I think the oxygen minimum zone is close to being anoxic, but I mean it the word itself is like no oxygen. So. Right. Which isn't necessarily true. Though. Right. 
So at the, the minimum oxygen we've seen on this dive is at about, let's see. Seven hundred meters, and is a concentration of or uh, let's see, the concentration is like thirty-four micromolar, and saturation nine percent. Nine percent. Okay. Might be a little lower because at the surface ocean, suggesting 110% saturation. So, oh, maybe that there's a little bias in the sensor, but it drops way down at 700 meters and then it kind of climbs back up as we go deeper. We have a dangling debris question. Um, one of our viewers is asking about, um, in the camera view from Herc, it looks like there's a string dangling on the right side. Oh, yeah. Um. That's the hemp rope that's uh, attached to some device. Uh, I think, oh, one of the weights, right? So hemp is used because it'll degrade in the ocean and, you know, kind of a leave no footprints kind of thing. Hey, Rennie. Yes. Um, the viewers want to know what the string is we're seeing when we look down um, that's dangling off Herc to the starboard side. Oh, it's their scoop. Okay. Yeah. We were having some theoretical sonar discussions that um, <laughs> we yeah. were kind of scared at the results, so we're just kind of glossing over. <laughs> okay, all right. So that's what we were false do. bottoms, false bottoms. False bottoms, yeah. Can you take a picture of that, actually? What? Can you take a picture of that? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> My mind is broken. Huh. Does look weird. <laughs> Hundred meters left, guys. Hundred meters. Let's or see when it? we get the top where we just got two beams. Two beams? Yeah. We got it. We had it like between eighty and a hundred last time. Yeah. The six hundred. Mean four kilohertz. beams, you mean? Yeah. Mm. Let's see if we get it see at least eighty it. eighty off. It is I mean it could be a slope too. Throwing some of the sound away. There's three beams and 100 meters off. Four, yeah, four beams, 100 four meters. Four beams, 108. 108. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So good. Yeah. Uh, the slope is up to the north. Yeah. That is the direction we're going. It rains zooming out there a bit, Renny. See where we're going. Up. We're going up a mountain. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Raj. Up, up. Up, up, and up, away. Up, 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 up. Raj with that. I'm going to arrange it in. It's good. Starting at some returns in the mesos. That makes sense. <laughs> 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 that, no. Yeah. <laughs> we get the same in the sun bottom on the ship, and it's dependent on pulse length. Hmm. Oh. But that's more like a fuzz, less of a false bottom. Interesting.
So we're going to go kind of north-ish? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll switch you over to Doppler and do a quick set. Sure thing. All right, Jake, you ready for the all stop then five zero? Yep. Okay, you're on dead dead wreck there. You'll get some better positioning. Reg. Doesn't look like you're you pulled too far from the rear of the ship, but it might back up on you a little. Roger that. All stop. Roger. You want to bring your head to kind of northish, kind of zero ish. See myself See and down. down. Yeah. Mind melt. <laughs> All right, Jake, let's go down. Let's go. What camera do we have on Argus right now? We have the Mini Zeus back. Mini -Zeus. What? It was yeah. a fiber optic issue. There's the That's interesting. <laughs> That's me. Okay. <laughs> bottom in sight. On bottom. Edge. Did you know that you had it back before you went in the water? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. interesting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of an all-hands effort by the end of it. Yeah, we swapped the... Um, Mini Zeus with the 4K, yep. thinking it was the Mini Zeus that was a problem, but then the 4K didn't work either, so it turned out it was the fiber optic cable on the vehicle. Right. So we sw we thought it was going to require opening the bottle, though. Yeah, we have a spare fiber optic, so we just were able to use that. Interesting. Okay, once you do the white balance, we'll collect some pings and get you set up. Roger that. And we're there. Dave, do you know what this stand with like a camera thing is here? I do not. That's it's a 360 kind of like, camera. Oh, that's it? a 360 camera. It's kind of right in my <laughs> line of vision. I, uh, I didn't rig it. Um, not sure exactly all what right. it's all about. Well, I might move it. Uh, yeah, you might want to get. I think that's either Aaron or Steve. You might want to talk to there. 
It is. All right, while well, you get set up, I'm going to go ask about that. Raj. Yeah. Kelly would be the one to ask. All right, Dave, is that good for you there? Let's see how we're doing here. Get you to drop down just a little bit more. Center it up. Pull back just a little bit. Center it up. Reg. That's good. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. All right, black balance first, going to black. I'm in the mud a little bit. I'm going to reset your deal. You're out of auto XY. Roger. Okay. Hello? Okay. Uh, hello. Adam has disappeared for a second, so I've been uh, relieving him of his command. No. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Probably going to want to do a core sample, but let's wait till he gets back. This is what we were hoping for. A right. valley of pebbles. Roger that. So let's wait. Okay, white balance, black balance are good. Okay to proceed. Roger. I'm setting up the uh, still cam for the very first time. Go ahead and full wide there, please, Dave. Thank you. A little bit in my fingers there. Duh. We can always move if we need to push core. Yeah, we want to do a core sample here. Sure thing. Yeah, right in the pebbles. Core sample right in the pebbles, Raj. Can we wait for me to set up the still cam though before we move anything? Yeah, sure thing. Thank you. They, they taped it. I think it's taped, yeah. What is that? Is it a camera? It is. It's some kind of a 360 camera. Oh, I thought it was candid camera. Here we are. <laughs> you know. What's one more camera? Oh, what the heck, you know. <laughs> Sarah, are we all clear there? Or did you? Uh, no, sorry. This is the first time I'm doing it, so it's going to take me a little bit. Sure thing. And you need this, you need the static shot here, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe up in that black spat patch would be a good spot. Do a core sample. The one up at eleven o'clock. Yeah, it looks yeah. Up there might be good. It also looks like an Argus view, maybe kind of back into the right a little bit. There might be some yeah. good stuff too. I mean it's pretty generic. We wanna see uh that you should be able to get a full core sample in this and we'll see if it's got you may hit pebbles on the way down. We'll see. Sure thing. Sorry, I am uh, not finding the buttons I need. Sarah, would you mind if we did it while we're doing the core sample? Is that okay? Um, I got to log the core sample, so Raj, I can't do it both. Roger that. All right, I think I got it. Roger that. Thanks for waiting. Yeah, of course. It was ah. like a whole extra 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> 
Given how much time we use to collect samples and stuff, it's all good. I'm gonna come a little bit closer so that Jake doesn't have to come down on the delta. Yeah, looks like there's some nodule patches over here, Bob. Yeah, anywhere there is fine. That even that's that right in front of us. That patch of black, right where you are, would be a representative. Roger. Sample of this. Theoretically, as we go up, it should be denser because mass wasting would not move the bigger ones as far as the little ones. Agreed. So if we got a one in there, and then we go up and see if it yeah. gets more and more. Because it's all gravitational sliding. Yep, green size of the It's going to dominate and see if we get an increase in pebble size. And then at some point, do a scoop or something. Yeah, sure thing. Not yet. I think we want to get into the bigger. Yeah. Better so we're doing push core here. Yeah, right there would be perfect to see yep. how deep this strata is. Mm -hmm. I would Dave, assume. Dave, you want to push it in there, please? Reasonably deep. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll see if we can get the core all the way in. Yeah. It might hit a big, big guy. Well, yeah. Last time we did this, we did get captured some of the manganese. Yeah. This cobbles. should see what happens if it just finally hits a deeper buried pebble right. pull wide there please dave and stops us but that's perfect it's exactly what we would hope to see yeah we um we've had some limited success with these manganese nodules the if there's too many like large ones on the yeah, top they push yeah. it the core out but we're gonna find out yeah for sure just sort of push it around until it gets past it but yeah no this is interesting too bad we don't have a, a sub bottom profile on that yeah yeah I'm gonna go ahead and switch over salvos there jake that would be interesting to have a you know it's a 3.5 mm -hmm. you also want to look at the armpit there see what we penetrate uh sentry has one yeah thank you and, that would uh, be cool. I think Eagle Ray has one as well. Yeah. Got an open well, we got one on this ship, but we're a little higher up. We're too far away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure of the frequency of the one on Argus, but we just use it for bottom tracking. But the one we have on the whole of the ship is, I think the Knudsen's 3.5, isn't it? Yeah. 3.5 and 12. Yeah. Or 15. Yeah, 3 will get you deeper. I can bump it up more if you want me to. Yeah, so are you, do you record the one on on uh, Argus? I don't know. I don't think so. It's also just, it's tuned for bottom tracking. So right. Like, I think we, I don't even know, I actually don't know what frequency that is on. What? The sub-bottom frequency on, on uh, Argus. Do you know what the frequency is? Um, I'll probably check. Yeah. Uh, this is perfect. It's not a worry. What do you think? A full court? Oh, yeah. yeah. What are you going to predict? Yeah, I don't even think we're going to hit the bottom. But are we going to hit a rock, sub buried nope. rock? Nope. We're going to have We're going to go all the way down. Popping out the top. You got it. Actually, Jess what's, knows just when to stop. To what's Vegas just, betting? You got any uh, odds out of Vegas on yeah. this one? Yeah. 20, 20 to 1. 20 to 1. Actually, hey, we haven't we haven't monetized uh, deep sea exploration in that way. Well, we've got <laughs> we've got new our own bitcoins. We've oh got yes, <laughs> go ahead and push on there, please, Dave. Pebble coins. That's great. Make some nifties out of uh, yeah, highlight videos. Here we go. Um, nifties. Um, is this right here, Bob? Yeah, that's perfect. Just straight down and see if how far we go. Or Roger. We Hit a rock or keep going, wiggle around. And look at that. Keep going, wiggle it a little. There we go. Now the question is, can you get it back to the quiver? Yeah, I'm curious to see if there's any good clay here. Oh, that's enough. And come full wide there, please, Dave. Does it stay in? Yeah. 
it's coming out. No, it does not stay in there very well. It's heavy. Yeah. It's just falling out gravity wise. Yeah. No, you're not gonna. You're not. I wouldn't bother. Oh, I don't know. We got want a little to, bit want on me to top. wash it out then? I would try it again. Sure, wiggle it out. And All right, I'm gonna wiggle go, it out over here. Go do it near the box. <laughs> Can you do that? Shake it out into the box? No, but core near the, the box, so the distance. Oh. Know, can you see near the box on the ground? The, the, yeah, the vis is pretty bad over there, but I can do it closer to the armpit over there. I'm trying to get you so your move is a very short. Roger. Distance. You have a camera. Can you put up that down-looking camera on the box and sample? You see that one directly in front of the pilot? Yeah, that but... That little guy. Can you put that on a bigger screen? That one's actually a bit harder to... It's easier to do it right by the armpit here and give it a go there. And okay. Then, um, I'm yeah. just trying to get you a short distance to move that too <laughs> because you don't... You have seconds. Roger. Yeah, if anything, we can also do some scooping here if you want, but... um. Well, we'll, we'd rather scoop bigger nodules, wouldn't you think, Adam? Yeah. I, we're just trying to see if we can get a core. We need yeah. the core that catches it, you know, the ones that... Oh, with the core the, catcher on the end? The yeah. core catcher on the end. The one-way guys, you know? We yeah, the, 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 like a little yeah, iris. That correct. That Go ahead and push on in there again, please, Dave. It's okay if uh, there was some sediment draped across this? Yeah, Sorry? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Doesn't matter. It's just the weight of it. Yeah. The frictional drag on the casing isn't able to overcome the weight of the core. Let's go actually like this. Hmm. That's as deep as this one wants to go. Come on. Let's get any wiggle in it. Yeah, that's as deep as this one goes here. All right. All right. Pull it up. Pull away, please. See if anyone survives. Roger. All right. Come on up. Yeah, you got it. Just gentle, gentle, gentle. Oh, no. It's fill out. Oh. Yeah. I see it on the ground. Yeah, they're all there now. All right. Belay this. It's not going to work. We need a Balma box core. We can, we can all. Yeah, yeah. We used to use those little ones. Yeah, yeah. We used to have those. Yeah, books. on uh, they could do with the MIP. Yeah, on the MIP. It, it, and it comes in at the bottom and it makes the square, the Balma box cores. Yep. That's what we really need. Yeah. Because then you get a lovely whole section. Boom, right. Door closes. And they're about this big. You've seen. Yeah, yeah. Have you still got those on Alvin or didn't you? Uh, I'm sure they have them in the. In the toolbox? In the shop somewhere, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, store that. Yeah, Balma box core is like a cookie cruncher. Yeah. And the doors flap down underneath, and you get a square box of goodies. We need to add that to our toolbox next year. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, they're, we, you know, used them a lot on Alvin a million years ago. All right. Water okay, just drive now up the we're valley. on the hunt for a rock and the skin pair. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. We can just grab one of those. They should all be loose. Yep. Yeah, ideally. Dead uh, ahead. We'll wait for the niskin to put the setup yeah. to clear out. Yeah, you, you could actually pick up and move a, a few meters to... Yeah, those guys. Right now, just lift up and move forward a few meters and grab one. Yeah, sure thing. They're not going to be welded there. Yeah, these like these look very loose. They all are. All right. Yeah. And any type of any type of you look to draw, it. You want to draw something. Um, on just it. ideally with that like side that's exposed to seawater with not much sediment. Okay. Do you want me to be a little far away from where we had a plume cloud? How about that? Um. Any of those guys? I think we're gonna create one when we set down. Right anyway. where the lasers are pointing. I think here is okay. Roger. Yeah, that's be fine. Jake, you want to look on the porch there, please? 
Yeah, this is cool. We just want this to be all black carpet. <laughs> and we come down here with our little Hoover vacuum cleaner. Hoover vacuum. That'd be neat. And we Hoover it. Yeah. This is perfect. We got ourselves a little dust cloud, hopefully. Yeah. It'll just think of it a little fog. How about this one below the lasers there? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Go ahead and push on in there, Dave, please. That one there? Yeah, that one. Oh, there's a little cup coral in it. That's perfect. Look at those nodules next Good. to it. Yummy, yummy. Shouldn't? Should be anemone, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. perfect. Corals go this nothing deep. growing cup on Cup corals. Because uh, it's carbonate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I could be something very right wrong. There. Yeah. Well, I mean, on the little guys. Yep. It's too, as soon as they grow, they fall over. Yeah, right. right. They cool haven't got an anchor. No, it just... Oof. All right. And this is going to go in probably D, is that one of the starboard smalls? Yeah, one of the starboard smalls. Sure thing. Bingo. All right, let's take a look. It's a pull shot. Actually, let me dust, dust it off a little bit over here. <laughs> It almost looks like a columnar joint, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of does, huh? I got to push it in there, please, Dave. Got a twofer. You get a critter with it. Yeah, good. All right. Yeah. That's good. We got a little, yeah. We got bonus. a little small rock in there. Extra nodule. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, bonus. Bonus nodules. Alrighty there. there. Full wide, please. Look at all of that. Jake, you want to look at the armpit there? Yep. And go ahead and open up that bin whenever you get a chance. Is this 099? Well, this is 100. Whoa! 100. 100 sample. Not on this trip, is it? Yeah. Hey, guys. That's <laughs> pretty cool. I can finish that barbecue pit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rocks. not the 100th rock, though. For the, that counts all yeah, the right, biology right. stuff, too. This is the barbecue pit from rocks around the world. <laughs> it's a very expensive barbecue pit, that one there, Bob. yes. This is cool. Let's see if the grain size changes as we go up. So All right, that one's in D there. Thank you. All right. And then let's grab a Niskin here before so we make any more sediment. Valley's almost north south. <laughs> Roger. Yeah, we'll have Renny. Uh, well, you sort of get it on the sonar. Yeah. So what's the heading right now? Uh, heading is a little. It's kind of due north, a little west of north. West of north. Yep. So yeah, just head up the Central Valley. Jake, mind switching cameras there? Yeah. Yeah. So that looks like you're going up bearing it. Which one the, are you going for? The Herc cam came uh, back. Yeah, they're all open. Which one is least in or the Or the Argus cloud? cam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go for it at the bottom of the pit, I guess. Number six is six. Do you see it fired? No. Nope. It hasn't popped yet. There, there it is. is. Huh. It popped. Okay, did you want me to zoom out here? Yeah. And take a look at. We're pretty going to drive up the valley. 
Yeah, I think yeah. we just go. Uh, just kind of go right to waypoint two. Yep. Um, if that's all right. Yep. And we'll eventually go to. Then we'll decide when we head up on the ridge. But for so now, we want to see if this just gets blacker and blacker. Waypoint two is. We'll go three five zero. Three five zero waypoint two Reg. Three five zero. Oh. Anything else here? Can we start that move? Start it. Okay. Good. Bridge now. Take some frame grabs as we go, right? Frame grabbing. Why don't you make it Good evening. Can we step uh, 100 meters bearing 350, speed 0 0.2? That sounds good. Thank you. I might do a little car wash while we're... While we're there we go. That's a nice view. That's perfect. There we go. Back row, I'm going to just do a small little car wash uh, just to get some of the sediment off of us so we get better pictures, okay? Okay. So I'm just going to change my heading around really quickly. Close your eyes. This is more reminiscent of the acrobatic snail right here. <laughs> <laughs> There's still some on the porch, but that's good enough for now. All right, pushing out of this cloud now. <laughs> that was a very acrobatic snail, that. I actually thought that was the official name of it, but <laughs> it's not. It's twice now. You guys have tricked me. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was a common name, too. What are you guys doing back there? <laughs> I did, too. That's why it started. Well, now I'm not even sure. Maybe it is the... <laughs> 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 okay. So, what's our heading? We're going 350. Perfect. Right up and look at it. Just what we wanted it to be. It's a little... Bigger gravel. Looks like you're going sideways. Yeah, just while we're waiting for that ship move, since it'll take a few minutes for it to come in. Um, right. Just look around and see how many more nodules there are around here. Oh, a lot of nodules right Lots. there. Yeah. So many nodules. Look at that. Could you zoom in just to get a little more textural look at it? Sure thing. Go ahead there, Dave. Lower Hanging. Yeah, wow. Very cool. What a placer deposit, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Just swallow that up. At some point, those are going to start to grow together into a yeah, pavement. coherent yeah, pavement. But exactly. if it's mass wasting, if it's on the move, yeah, right. It'll keep busting up because it's got to be gravitationally yeah, moving down, yeah. down. Is slow. that an anemone or is it a that's that's a, all that's, a, that's an, an anemone. anemone. Looks a lot like the one we just got on the rock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, one of our used by those gut contacts. Was asking mm -hmm. uh, when we take a rock sample and there is an organism on it. Um, what do you do with the critters? You keep it. <laughs> yeah, we'll subsample it. So we'll pull them apart and then send them to different labs. All right, so that's great. <laughs> Thanks. It's okay. actually really good for the geologists because Go otherwise we have to state. clean the rocks off. Yeah, we'd rather <laughs> have the biologists clean it off. Another viewer is asking, is the ocean bottom only basalt or are there a variety of rocks? Dominantly basalt here. Yeah, mostly it's all. I mean, this created. never was shallow enough to get a carbonate cap on it, like some of them did. The guillots and others were shallow enough to get it. But on capping the basalt in many places is, uh, you know, hemipelagic 
pelagic yeah. sediments yeah. from the that's dead critters raining down. That's what you're looking at. This is a We're not close enough to land, so this is pretty much dead critters. We used to get a lot of pteropods that were then, then coated. Not the one we saw, right? I haven't right? seen any. Yeah. No. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? That gravel. So you're gonna you're waiting for a move? Yeah, we're well. So the move's called in, and we're just waiting to feel it right now since we're it's about, yeah five 37. or so minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Yeah, I think we're. Gonna that might be the Doppler. Uh. Sorry, yeah. the yellow, we rarely see the yellow, so it scared scared us. Yeah. Absolutely. If it's the Doppler, then we'll just run with it. Perfect. Do you want me to see if it's the Doppler? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Adam, what was the rate of accumulation for these manganese nodules for the like the manganese crust? Uh, it's estimated at about a millimeter per million years. That's so cool. Okay. But we got 140 of them. 114. Yeah. To play uh -huh. with. Yeah. What's the thickest crust you guys been seeing? We have not been able to open up a lot of the rocks yet, but oh, right. uh, I think that from Coralie's previous rocks that she's been looking at, um, some more seamounts. She saw like, I don't know, a couple inches, I think is the maximum. Wow. wow. Yeah, about uh, five centimeters or something mm -hmm. like that. Wow. It's a very old rock, very old crust. Yep. It's but not, we, we saw doubler. it open. It's not the doubler. Three pebbles today. Yeah. And Just updated. Yeah, the Try yeah the we meso. cut op open some of these mini nodules and actually they be the meso. were probably a, the meso. a centimeter, yep. right? Yeah, Try but the that's still actually that might be the one. The pebble, right. the pebble had percentage-wise more crust than a rock would. You yeah. did open up some of them. We yeah, saw the it open. Ones, yeah, nice. some of them. Starting to feel that Just move. reset that later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. looks like the camera is starting use? to get a little bit Would closer. Use? Yeah. use the saw. Uh -uh. Yeah. yeah. Well, they like were tiny all? enough. We just yeah. There yeah. wasn't that much basalt to cut through. It's it did struggle with <laughs> something that was that big. Uh, it's not sheep seeking. This looks Is good. That a dead something or could you patch uh, of Rennie, brownish yes. thing? Could you zoom out on topography for a second? I want to get a sort of sure thing. Big picture. Uh, I'll uh, change the contours to 50 meter contours. That way they sure won't be ahead. so crowded. Go ahead and push on in there, please, Dave. What's that brown guy? Could you zoom in on that discolored one? This one here? Yeah. Yeah. Sure thing. I'll tilt down a little bit. Looks like. Looks like an altered rock. Or some consolidated sediment. I don't know. No, I don't know. It's, I'm trying to see if it's got worm tubes holes. It's a different color. It's like someone flipped it over. Hmm. Yeah, it, I think it's a rock with a, for some reason, collected a lot of sediment on it. Oh. Alrighty, thanks. Okay, so we're... Let me take a look at the picture. Look at this picture. Yeah, are you here. back on on the mezzo? So we're. Uh, it's coming. I just right had to readjust there. the gain. Yeah, you know, if we drive straight ahead, we're going to run into the wall anyway. Yep. If you know. Yeah, notice. exactly. Yeah, we're going to mm -hmm. go like. Full wide there, please. Yeah. Well, let's keep going on this gravel highway. 
Keep I would going. be surprised if it was USPL. That thing. See if this gravel get locked in thicker. It's, it's not terrible. It's still run. It's still usable. But yeah, we should hunt it down and see what it is. <laughs> Roger. Well, it it dulled when we turned off Doppler. Could it be intermittent on Doppler? It could also be intermittent, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe it's not. It's still pretty. Solid, so. Now that's starting to pick up lava there, contact. Yeah, or else uh, pavement. Let's, yeah, let's see. Kay. It's actually cool along the side. You yeah, are yeah. seeing a bit of a river yeah. of nodules. Yeah. 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 Do you want to, should we trade seats? See if that, <laughs> if there's a chute, I'm you want to follow the chute. So that's, it's coming down this, yeah, it's just like a river flowing down slope. Yeah. You want to stay in the river, sort of bias to the right a little here. Roger that. And sort of, this is a chute coming off the hill. Alluvial fan is what we call them on land. Yeah. Yeah. Stay in the alluvial fan. Yeah, straight ahead. That's good. Slightly to the right. Roger. Yeah, it's a little root, uh, ravine, uh, ravine. Are you okay with the map there, Bob? You want yeah, no, that's cool. Thing? Okay. I mean, I don't know that you gain a lot by super zooming in on it. You sort of lose your bearings. Yeah, I just track the progress of the ship and stuff. Yeah, like this one. yeah. We have a viewer asking if the creation of the nodules um, could vary the timing or because of changes, differences in ocean chemistry. Correct. Yep. And, and particularly in lower oxygen levels, apparently. So you get, from the limited data we have, a thicker coating in lower oxygen levels. I don't know where we are on the oxygen. We're, we're, we're pretty deep. We're way below the oxygen minimum. Are you still on the camera? Or uh, one of the lights there, Jake? See. We're pretty flat-lined on Maybe, oxygen but Let's not turn them off right now. For the last 45 minutes since we came down. Speaking of the things that we've recently changed. Are those millimoles? I'm trying to read that. That's on the... Yeah. This one is millimoles. They're millimoles. Now that, look at that. Perfect. Yep. That's what we're hoping to see. Could you zoom in again real quick just to get the granularity of yeah, it? Yeah, sure thing. Go ahead and push it on there, please, Dave. I wonder what those little white things are. Kind of bioturbation, maybe? No, there's some sort of something. I don't know what it is. Sit down here a little bit. But we're, we're sort of getting a little more gravelly. You want to try another push core? I don't think we have any luck. I'd rather scoop. All right. You guys want to scoop here? Sure. Yeah, I think we're, we're going to probably want yeah, multiple scoop buckets. We're laid back, so you want to so get ahead. We're going to, because we can always put a rock on them. Right. So if we could do. Well, we can't put Coralie's rocks on them, from Big what Brian? I understand. So. You can put rocks on a scoop. I well, don't, with like geochem? I don't think it's going to. On the Doesn't time matter. scale of hours, right there, please, yeah, Dave. We're totally yeah, fine. is it all right if we just scoot ahead and get ahead? Um, yeah, sure. There's sure. more of this. Um, to go you think there's more? <laughs> yeah. Bridge now. Plenty more. Yeah, you got. You're in the middle of a hold move. position. Yeah, we're in the middle of a move, so yeah. we'll just hold the position. Let it play out, and we'll see what we can get. Yeah, there's plenty of this stuff. Yeah. I think you could probably get it on the fly, but. So just do it as, like, go out ahead, do it as well, soon as possible. Well, you want to stay to the right. You're going to hit a bedrock on the left. You want to stay to the right. 
Roger that. You're going to get out of the ravine into the wall. Because this is a chute, so that right there would be perfect where the laser beams are. Okay, we're just going to get a scoop spot. We're going to zoom ahead so we have some time so we don't All get right. caught under Argus. Just don't peter out. We'll go more to the right here. I think there's another uh, shooting Argus. Yeah. Let's see. If you can do it quick, then we can just go ahead and do it. I think they might want well, multiple we're, bucket or we're multiple We're sort of out of it now. Yeah. yeah. I'm confident there'll be more. Yeah, well. Do look at I'm look at that one right underneath this. That's sort of an interesting. Yeah, we're sort of out of it. Yeah, I'm looking over here to the right a bit. Maybe we can see it in Argus a bit. And yeah, now you're in hard rock now. You're out of it. All right. You're not going to get squat here. That's you, the wall. Rennie, do you mind if we back the ship you up? Can, like you can meters? see it on your yep, sonar. Can back the ship up. No, oh, it's just. No, I. We can go slide, forward. Slide, slide left. See the wall on your sonar. Yep. Yeah. It's, that's up. So you want to buy us away from that. Roger that. But then we're coming up to the where the ravine closes. The the ravine's huge. We're still yeah, no, right but in the middle. It starts to be rock. That's true. So back row, did you guys want us to back the ship up? Yeah, no, nah, we'll survive. But it would have been. We just need to be I aware that this isn't is going to no. run for a hundred miles. Mm -hmm. I do want to know out. if we're backing up. Yeah. No. no. Right here, you're spin left. You're in it again. So okay. if you can stop here or anywhere. Argus might pass over you, but I think you'll be okay. If you can get in there and do a scoop on that stuff. Sure thing. Right underneath you. Right, right. Keep, yeah, straight down. And particularly to the, yeah. Right yeah, there. Probably like That's good. So center screen there, Bob. That good. Go in there and scoop. Roger that. And bias to the left of the larger nodules. See them? Oh yeah. Did you want me to scoot up there a little yeah, bit? Yeah, scoot up a little would be nice. Sure thing. And off to the left. Yeah. Right where you're there. Oh. Looks like there's some more oh. big ones to the left here, huh? Not super big. We want the. Okay. Ones that are right under the Alvin weights, or just in front of it. Roger that. See that? Yeah. That'd be a good scoop, Scooby Doo. Sure, we're stable real quick. That's gonna be interesting. Could you zoom in real quick for a second while we're doing what we're doing, just to get the granularity here? Yeah, there, Dave, if you want. There's a, yeah, right there would be a good scoop. That ought to be interesting. Yeah. Maybe a couple of scoopfuls. That's even finer than the one we sampled yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But All right, full right there, Easier Steve. to suck up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we learned our lesson about the using almost, the suction I'm there on this guy. Almost tempted to yeah. do a slurp. No, no, no slurping. No slurp. No slurp. <laughs> <laughs> Cut off. No. <laughs> Although we've learned our lesson. Comedy levels. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good for comedy. You're right. <laughs> it's torturous. Sure, I'm full right. <laughs> <laughs> torturous for some. Jake, you want to look on the scoop there on bubble, please? Let me move this out of the way, too. You're going to make a mess when you do this, so just be aware. Oh, yeah. Get clouded out. Roger that. Bit of an interesting angle. <laughs> yeah. Then we'll, uh, we'll make it work. <laughs> and if not, we'll reset up here. Yeah, set it on the ground and re-grab it. Mm -mm -mm. 
So which uh, which bin are these going right in the front? Yeah. Yeah. One on the left or right, or just pick one. So this might work out well for us, actually. Go ahead and push on in there a bit, please, Dave. And we'll just bias for the top substrate. Is that correct? Yeah. I'll get some of the smaller stuff here. Yeah, just run along and Sorry. fill it up. Yep, that's good. Keep going. Mark three version of a scoop here. Yeah, we've lost a few. This is Mark three. Yeah, Is that yeah. good there, Bob? That's good, and dump it in, and we'll do another one after that. Roger that. You'll make so a mess. 102? Yeah, this is 102. It's interesting. When look right. where it was in. It's it's only on the top. Okay, pop out the... Yeah. Yeah, it was ahead. a clean Full light surface piece. underneath. Right. Oh, that hose is uh, caught up. Oh, it is, yeah. <laughs> Might be all right. I like the new yeah. label. Bump it out again. The new what? The labels on the boxes. Oh, that's oh. that's good. The that's Trevor that's Lam Omega. Lambda, Lambda and Omega again. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that used to be the name. It was Lambda and Omega. Excuse me. Yeah, it turns out that the scientists. That makes more sense. Turns out the scientists don't like. <laughs> we thought we were being really cheeky. Characters that don't. Have a keyboard letter. <laughs> oh, keyboard letter. they do. I Option wanna... control <laughs> H shift. I'm gonna wait for visibility here for a minute, guys. I yep. think it's you're you're creating the class. There we go. There you go. You know, it turned out when we brought that last one up. There's a tremendous amount of sediment, too. Yeah. Almost equal in volume to a push core. <laughs> yeah, right. It was in the bottom of those bands when you yeah. get done. So don't, th you, you get it with sediments and the guys. Sticky. Sticky, Sticky stuff. Indeed. Yeah. It's, it's a, new, it the it's a new facial mud that we're going to sell. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Is that what this is for? This yeah. is. <laughs> this is for facial mud. <laughs> so I'll, I'll sell the Dead Sea mud. So. You know, oh, there's yeah. a person at Woods Hole that makes pottery out of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. And I've got several <laughs> pieces of pottery from mud I collected oh, around sorry, the Titanic. Oh. Yeah, she, she turned it into pottery. She made wow. some for me with some ash from a yeah, volcano. Yeah, volcano. volcano. That's neat. All right, go but grab you know, it. That's our now, before you do anything, it'd be nice to see uh, where you took this scoop. So sure if you, thing. when you put the box back in, let's zoom in on. We we're trying to see if it's just a surficial layer of guys, because it looked pretty clean. Uh, but it was a quick look. Sure thing. Yeah, I'm sitting at the rest of this. It's quite quite clayish almost. Which is it is. It's 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 sticking. Yeah. It's amazing that like I say it's this facial mud we're gonna make millions. <laughs> That's actually our, our next watch is bottling up the mud with <laughs> the UPC codes on it. Come on. That is amazing how it's sticking. Yeah, All very right. cool. Alright, so if you pull the box back, we'll see where you don't move the leave your guy right there. Don't don't get it out there. Sure. See how clean it is just over the uh, left box at the edge. Pull the box in. I want to see how clean. I want to zoom in on that where you shoveled it to see if it's, it looks like there's, see it, how clean it is? Yeah, just on the So top. 